Hello everyone, time to grind here. And today I wanted to show you guys some games that came uh, from my childhood. Uh, some flash games, back in the day of flash games, there were some amazing games called like the elephant games. There were games like, this is the only level. Uh, and there were a lot of things like that. And they were really popular. They were a big part of my childhood and they just bundled all of them together in a big package uh, called the elephant collection, uh, remastered them, obviously photosensitivity warning and stuff like that. And so we're gonna just jump in do it here and experience my childhood. So PSA public servants announcement, Blue Elephant has fallen on hard times. Uh, shunned by Hollywood, he is portrayed as an outdated icon of old Flash games. Now tragedy is stuck. His wife, Pink Elephant, is missing. There are no clues who uh, as to who took her. Uh, now he must recall and replay his greatest hits in hope of uncovering the whereabouts of his lost love. Um, preserve his legacy with the elephant collection here. Um, and okay, okay, so we're moving around here. Oh, legacy ruined. We died. Okay, GG. GG. Um, and so, uh, it might, it might be very curious as what this is, but this is just a quirky, cool way for them to combine all of these games in one here. Um, so the, uh, the laser, uh, what are these? So these are different memories here. Uh, Elephant Rave was developed during the duration of an NBA basketball game. While watching the game, I decided to make an extremely small game on a 13 inch computer. If you've never used Flash, it has a dozen or so panels that need to be open for everything from art to programming to timeline. When you open all these panels on a 13 inch computer, you're left with about 250 by 200 pixels of space. That's why Elephant Rave is so small. This is the first elephant game in what would become of many here. Um, so I think we're gonna move on to the elevator here. See what the games are. We can go in the elevator here. So these are, um, is the, are these the first games? Do we do them left to right? I think we do them right to left, I believe. Um, let's see. Um, or do we go left to right? You would think you would go left to right. Um, okay, let's do, let's do, well, let's do Achievement Unlocked. I think this is maybe the first one. It's hard for me to, I don't really know which order to do these in. Um, but memory or achievement unlocked. Let's go play achievement unlocked. So this in itself achievement unlocked uh, was uh, a game, right? So we've gotten some achievements here um, and we can now, uh, so achievement unlocked, play. And so this is what achievement unlocked was. So anytime you see something popping up in the bottom left, that is us getting an achievement, right? We just earned an achievement for getting 10 achievements. We just got an achievement for playing the game for 10 seconds. We just got an achievement. Uh, Spacebar has no purpose, dummy, stay alive for 15 seconds, right? So pretty much there's all of these things happening. We've already got 16% of all of the achievements here. And the goal here is to just figure out how uh, to, uh, we got an achievement for scrolling in the achievements, uh, selection, right? Uh, we got an achievement for staying alive for 30 seconds and for playing for 30 seconds. So all of these games are very quirky, right? We're pretty much just trying to, um, get as many achievements as we can, right? Um, as you can tell, we've gotten quite a lot here. We've returned, uh, 25% of the achievements. And, uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, things are happening here. I know De things are definitely happening here. So a big part of it is, uh, you know, just trying to get all, all the achievements. So I'm assuming dying is his achievement. We got four different achievements. Have two corpses in the pit. It's like just, there's a bunch of quirky things that happen, right? I'm noticing these spikes are turning pink. I'm not sure what things are happening, but some things are happening. Oh, uh, achieve 50% of the achievements in, uh, achievement, uh, so... Let's see, so I think in order to, so I'm just curious here, if we go back to the elephant house, this will exit the current game. Um, Click the level area once. Uh, let's try to see, I think it, we might wanna try to get to 75% of the achievements here. Um, I don't, oh wait, what is this? What is that counter there? So we got an achievement for 10 corpses in the pit. One, oh, maybe we have to hit this five times. Let's see, five. Wait, can I not jump multiple times? Wait. Let's see here. But it'll make more sense. This probably wasn't the, I couldn't remember which game came first. I feel like I gotta hit this five times for an achievement. No! Oh, no, 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 there's numbers all around. Never mind, never mind. I get it, I get it now. Wait, there's numbers all over the screen, right? There's uh, zero, zero up here. So we press zero. Oh. So that was an achievement. So now what if we go to one? Right, now we wanna press two. Where is two? I don't even see a two on the map here. Are they hidden? What's down here? Touch 75, oh, there's, oh, okay, 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 okay. 
So there's two. So we just need to move around. Oh wait, there was a secret cave there. Is there a secret cave? Three. Okay, so now we've uncovered all of these here. And so I think what we're gonna try to do here is to get to at least 75% of the achievements unlocked. Uh, this is this was a really old Flash game called Achievement um, Unlocked. Um, also, what happens if I mute? Is that an achievement? Mute the sound. Changing the quality was a, an achievement. Click that button. There's a button that says click. Dear player, this restart button in screen has nothing to do with the Achievement Unlocked game. It is here only for people trying to speed run the game. Okay, I'm going to believe that. I'll genuinely believe that. Um, but yeah, so this is a game called The Elephant Collection. Uh, it's, he remastered all of his classic old Flash games. Um, and they were my childhood, so I wanted to show them off here. And this was the first one that we were doing. Achievement unlocked here. Um, let's see. So I think we want to touch zero first. And then we can touch one. And now we're going to try to touch... Um, two. Oh. Oh. Got an achievement, get surrounded by three sides. So we touch two, now we're gonna touch three, and then we're gonna touch four, and then I died. Okay, rip. Um, so these are all the achievements that we're trying to get. One o'clock murder, that's an interesting one. Okay, let's try this here again. So zero, one, um, How do I get, uh, let's see. How did I do that last time? Oh, I think I just need to. Um, oh, nope, okay. Also, I'm noticing if I touch some of these purple uh, tiles, they actually get to a lighter purple, right? So it's pretty much like you just keep messing around with these games and you figure out different ways that might get you achievements. So I just realized there's a bunch of these purple things, right? Apparently I just found the developer's favorite spot. Um, See, so there's all these things here. I'm trying to hit these tiles here. But I think once we get 75% of the achievements unlocked, I think the game may let us uh, progress, right? So that for the collection's sake, um, getting a that many achievements might be enough, right? Um, so let's, okay, let's try to do this timer here. We press zero. Now we're gonna press one. And now we're gonna try to press two. Because I guarantee you that's an achievement. Two, and then three. And then four. And now we want to go get five. Nice. That was an achievement. Hit four to five in that order. View each point in all order. And so we have two of these here. So let's see. Now that we have 76% of the achievements here, we're going to return to the house. And so if we go back in the elevator here, we can see that we have completed... Um, 25% of the achievements, 50% of the achievements. Oh, then you got to collect, uh, collect 100% of the achievements. So I don't know what these do. Um, this tile is the most used asset across the entire elephant collection. At 10 by 10 pixels, the original design was a simple rectangle recolored as it was interacted with and changed for different level designs. In Achievement Unlocked, there are a few tiles. By Elephant Quest, there are over thousands of hand-placed tiles in just one game. Uh, by, um, and then so the spike... Achievement Unlocked was created in a single four-day sprint. So the game that we were playing was created in a single four-day sprint. I was inspired by all the discourse around Xbox's new achievement system, and I thought it would be kind of funny to earn achievements for just about everything. What's interesting about designing for this game is the constraint of playing on a single screen. There's only so much real estate for play, so every aspect of the level had to be meticulously placed and considered. Some elements ended up getting replaced because they were unable to provide enough value to how much room they took up. The slot machine was an original idea from the first game that only made it into Achievement Unlocked uh, 2 here. So let's go back into this here and see if we can get closer to 100% achievements here. Oh, see, load a game from the Legacy Collection. Found the armor intro screen. Found the main menu here. Like, what happens if I, like, try to move around here? I bet there's some achievements, like, in the main menu or something. Or if I, like, move... I don't know. Uh, changing these things here. The, the, these games were very... Oh, earned an achievement. Oh, did it re... Oh, so it restarted... So it doesn't actually save. So you gotta try to get them all in one setting. Okay, okay. So we got we got 50% of the achievements. Obviously we, won't, we wanted to try to get more. Um, so that is good to know. If we quit out, it does not save. So let's go 
Well, I just wanted to show off a bunch of these games. Maybe we don't try to 100% them all unless you guys want to see us redo more. But now let's go to his uh, another game here, which was uh, this is the only level. Now this, this, this is the only level is the first game uh, that I actually discovered um, by this. This is what, uh, what got me here. So this is the only level, Adventures in Singularity. Player continue level one. So this, this level is called Arrow Keys Required. Uh, which means we press the button, we open it up, and we go to the tunnel. We beat it, but is the level over? Now we're playing the exact level again, um, but now it's called Not Always Straightforward. So uh, my, my, my controls are reversed. So all I gotta do is go left instead of right. Now stage three is called Think Before Doing. Uh, this uh, just means we can't, uh, oh, yeah, rip. So if you, if you go backwards, oh no, that's not what it is, look. If you press the button, it locks the door, right? And we don't need to do that. You could just go, oh rip. So it, it's really, really cool. So now this stage is called Alternate control scheme. So uh, WASD does nothing, but guess what? The mouse does something. Boom. So they're just very fourth wall breaking and I love it. Uh, this is called free floating. We're just floating. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, this one's called a bit bouncy here. So we're just bouncing up and down. So it's like, it's really cool. So we got an achievement for clear fi uh, stage five and this is the only level. So dull appearances. I think this is this one. Oh, spikes make you bounce. Is that what it is? So spikes make you bounce in this one. It was like, you just have to find the, the puzzle, right? So this one's called Candy Stripes of Doom. I'm assuming if you touch purple, you die. Yeah. So don't touch purple. They are the Candy Stripes of Doom. I guess you just can't stand on them. Uh, stage nine is arrow control. So um, WASC doesn't do anything. What does though? What? I'm so confused. What? Oh. So it was called arrow control, but it was actually based on the mouse. Okay. Uh, stage 10 is heavy uh, headwind here. So I'm being pushed left. Very hard. Oh, geez. I don't know. I just love these games. I ha I had to show it off. Uh, also, I was given a, a free copy of this game. I reached out. I also got a couple to give to you guys. Um, so uh, if you're not in our Discord or uh, you know watching this on the first day, I'm gonna check that out. But these games were my childhood. Okay, so we're trying to fight the wind here. Arrow control because the mouse is an arrow. Yeah, could be that. That's definitely what it's probably based on. So now this is called No Returns, No Refunds. I think this one's the one where the green, wait. Oh no, okay, this one, okay, I have to click uh, Panic. Panic kills you. So this one, you can't go backwards. So as long as you don't make a mistake, you're fine. Uh, stage 12 is Stay Low. Uh, I think this, you can just go. You don't have to push the button. Uh, this is Left Right March. I see, it's crazy how even though I haven't played this game in over 10 years, I still remember how to do some of the levels. So left, right, march, you just spam left and right and it'll autoplay for you. Uh, watching speed runs of this game, I imagine are really cool too. Stage complete. One leap of faith. I think this means we only get one jump. Yep, can't jump anymore, we got it. Uh, feeling homesick. What is this one? Oh, I think I know. Do we just have to go back in this one? How do I... So what is homesick? Oh, I think I know. Do we need to go to the home... This is, this is where it gets really meta-breaking. Let's go to the main menu. And go in. And now... Um, maybe we go... Home... Hmm, is it in the credits? Oh, main menu and unlock stage 27 for me. So we weren't on stage 27. Oh, wait, do I press the home key? There's a key, home key, home sick. Pause, do I pause it? See, so now we're at parts where I gotta, I gotta actually think here. Maybe we need to try to touch that? 
if I like let a bunch of myself die. Homesick. Feel like we're missing something here. Okay, let's uh let's go back to the main menu. Player continue level one, I love that. Um Cause I remember some of them you had to like press certain things, like maybe like turn to elephant's house, no. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so so we need to clear stage 15 for the second achievement and clear stage 30 for the third achievement. Feeling homesick. You would think it would be pressing home, but it's not. Or it would be going in this, but I'm not able to, let's see. Homesick. No way it wants me to go to the elephant house. I don't think that's, I don't think that's what it's wanting here. Um, panic. I'm trying to like jump the second I spawn in. Huh. <laughs> We've already been stumped. My, my nostalgia brain doesn't remember. Holy, I have not seen these in a long ass time. I know. That's why I knew I needed to play this collection that came out. Um, feeling homesick. Do I hold home? Maybe I hold the home key. No. Um, maybe I hold home while being on the button. Press the button a lot. That doesn't do it. Maybe don't do anything. Okay, we'll try not doing anything. If anyone's got suggestions, feel free to let me know. If you know the answer, maybe just give me hints. Um, panic. Do I need to like go to the, because some of the games, I'm assuming they've been tested, but some of the games you had to like, okay, let me go to the main menu, credits. So we need to go to the credits for stage 27. Feeling homesick. Do I need to... Menu, play... <laughs> I'm already, I'm already, we're already stumped here. Um... Feeling homesick. Because you would think it would be just go back to the last one, right? And I do remember I would have to like look up some of the answers sometimes. I mean, I would try, but that's the era of flash games, right? Maybe try going back to the main menu. It didn't take you long. I don't think, I don't think unsaved progress do we think it's it's gonna be like that? It, it didn't take us very long. Yeah, we could test it here. So let's go to the a race game. This is not a clever trick or part of the game. This will really erase it. Okay, back to the main menu. Okay, so let's let's go to the elephant house. I don't know if it's gonna save it or not. Okay. Let's see. So, oh my gosh, it was. See, that that is how fourth wall breaking it is. Now we're fine. Stage 15 complete. So this one saves the progress. I just thought it wouldn't because of the last one. Okay. So keep hitting it. This is where we just need to keep pressing the button. That's why I love these games. These games were so fourth wall breaking. I love it. Okay. So let's see if we can beat all, all 30 stages. So worried about nothing. I think if I remember this one, this is the wall that is... Can I just drop down or? Worried about nothing. So 17 was nothing. Oh geez, okay, so this is if we press a button, it collapses, button doesn't do anything. So what we have to do, I remember, is be above it. Then we have stuttering. 
So it's just like we're lagging. It's actually funny. I think the timer is lagging as well. We're slowly fall. <laughs> Looks like my computer. <laughs> uh, do you remember? Oh uh, yeah, totally. So everything's invisible. I remember the map. Easy peasy. Uh, in between gravity. So I think blue, red lowers us. I don't even know. Okay. Oh geez. Whatever. We did it. Stage two is Mime's Folly. Oh, geez. So there's an invisible wall right there. So we just got to go over it. Yep. Uh, stage 23 is Center Keyboard. So WASD does nothing. Arrow keys do, do nothing. But T, F, G, and H do something. So I'm having to use the middle of my keyboard. Uh, stage 24 is Uppercase. Um, I think, yeah, holding Caps Lock opens the door. Uh, when it feels like it. So I think this is just the door is going to open up when it wants. We just got to commit. We just got to commit to the bit. It's playing with me here. It's playing with me. Speaking of nostalgia, used to watch your streams all the time. Hey, well, glad to have you back. Or is it? This is just called, S or is it? Okay. Uh, credit page. I believe this is we had to go to the credits. So let's see. Main menu, credits, main menu and unlock stage 27. So by going to the credits, we get to unlock the door. Elephants don't have paws. What does that mean? Oh, what? Elephants don't have paws? Oh, oh, do I need to press pause break? Is that what it is? Pause break? Pause? Or do I, oh, pause that. Oh, okay, we press the literal pause button. Stage 29, closing shop. I think this is just, you have to do it fast, yep. And then last stage here, no sweat. Oh, yeah, no worries. So we did it, we beat the game, yes. Yes, yes it is. You have beaten the only level in the entire game. What was one level surely was more than that. We are very proud of you. We think you are really, truly special. Took a six minute, six and a half minutes, 27 deaths. Another step towards securing his legacy. Blue elephant couldn't be more chuffed. Back to menu. So now we can go. So we that, that was completing that game. So now we're gonna go to games. And so now let's go read all about this is the only level. So the pipe, this is the only level was a backup idea to a game called Ribbon, which was a fly through the sky and hit checkpoints game that never saw a release. When Ribbon's core design proved to be a disaster, the backup plan was to work on a new concept called Only Level, which would invite the player to play a single level design over and over again with modifications. The initial concept was executed in less than 10 hours and the final game released the same day. I had no clue that the concept would work, but it did. Uh, the third game featuring the blue elephant, uh, the This is the Only Level trilogy would go on to become the most played of any of the series, which those are my favorite, the This is the Only Level. Uh, in approaching design, I thought it would be fun to force players to readjust their expectations of extremely well-known game tropes. That spike is dangerous. Wait, no, it's not. It helps me. The neat part of that every stage requires the player to stop and think what is different, test out various elements of the stage, and then formulate a plan to get to the exit. The game, contrary to the name, is actually set up as 30 individual levels. I ended up calling them stages to cheat a little here. And the cursor. This is the only level at one point asked the player to move the elephant to the end with the mouse cursor. Introducing a mouse cursor to any of the this is the only level games was more challenging than it should have been. For example, a player might try to click the elephant but not actually drag it. And we had to make sure the game responded enough to that click to hint that maybe there was something more to do with the mouse. Likewise, we'd have to control what happened if the player dragged the elephant into an area we didn't want them to or accidentally clicked dragged outside the screen area. Flash wasn't always the best with consistent mouse input. So this was so cool. 
This was so cool. This feels the same type of game as Henry Stickman. Well, it was kind of like Flash era, you know. Um, but yeah, so it's really cool getting to hear these behind the scenes. So now we're going to go to Obey the Game, which I don't know if I ever played Obey the Game. So reach 60, unlock reverse mode, and uh, what else? Unlock rapid fire mode. So this is a game I have never played. I never played this game. Um, obey the game, play normal mode should probably start here, okay? Arrow keys or WASD to move. Or W to jump, okay. Disobey when told. Plus one life for three wins, minus one life for a loss. Don't lose all your lives. Ready? So survive. Okay, so we want to survive. Okay, so it's like almost like a bunch of mini games here. So we wanted to survive. We want to collect these. So it's going to tell us sometimes when we need to disobey. Take damage, disobey. We're not going to take damage here. Okay, I, okay, I can get behind this. Walk. We don't want to walk. It told us to disobey. Uh, deliver. Nope, nope, we do not want to deliver. So we're going to disobey. Disobey the gather command. And yeah, this game is on Steam. Uh, catch a ride. We do want to do that. It's almost like WarioWare. Push this. This. Okay, romance. Disobey. Kill ourselves. Survive, disobey, kill ourselves. Ditch. Oh, okay, we did it, we did it. Block, nice. Oh, these are getting fast. Disobey, take the stairs. Run, oh! Because yeah, you don't know whether you're supposed to disobey or not. Okay, hide. Nope, we're not going to hide. Coffee break. Just relax, I love that. Catch a ride, we want to do that. Run. We want to do that. Uh, romance. We want to do that. Survive. We want to do that. It's getting faster and faster. Ditch. We want to ditch. We want to gather. We don't want to survive. We don't want to run. We want to romance. We don't want to take damage. We don't want to, oh, we didn't want to collect and I collected one of them. It, that still counted. We want to take damage. We don't want to catch a ride. We want to survive. Uh, we want to catch a ride. We want to hide. We want to survive. We don't want to deliver. Uh, oh, I didn't block, Ripley failed. Push this. Collect. We don't want to collect. We're doing pretty good here. We. Oh, no, I didn't catch a ride. We failed that. Block. We blocked. We don't want to gather. Ditch. We want to ditch. We want to walk. We don't want to take damage. Saying it out loud is really helping. We don't want to survive. We do want to survive. And then we get a coffee break. Just relax. I love those. Okay, push this. Catch a ride. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to run. We want to romance. We don't want to take damage. Uh, we want to romance. We want to gather. We want to take the stairs. We don't want to survive. We want to block. We want to gather. We want to... Oh, I failed to survive. We don't want to take the stairs. We don't want to deliver. Oh my lord. Uh, we want to block. We don't want to take damage. We want to deliver. I got an achievement. Okay, collect. We don't want to hide. We don't want to ditch. We want to take damage. We want to deliver. We don't want to take the stairs. It's getting fast. We don't want to hide. We don't want to gather. It's getting so fast. We want to romance. We don't want to collect. We want to push this. We Oh, wait. We don't want to survive. We don't want to catch a... It's getting so fast. We don't want to romance. We don't want to collect. We don't want to gather. We do want to deliver. No. We... Oh, my God. Fail. Oh, we only have one more life. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Romance. Nope. Kill ourselves. Survive. I... Okay. I... do I... I'm just getting too fast. It's getting too fast. It's... Oh, God. Romance. Kill myself. Uh, don't collect. 
Okay, coffee break. We have one life left. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Take the stairs. Nope. Collect. Nope. Survive. Oh wait. Oh, we wanted to die. Gather. We don't gather. Catch a ride. Nope. Deliver. Nope. Ditch. Yep. Take the stairs. Yep. Survive. <laughs> it's so fast. Block. Yep. Push this. Don't walk. Okay, we're gaining all our lives back. Collect. Ditch. Don't walk. Push this, but we want to push that. Hide. Disobey. Don't collect. Gather. Walk. Oh, God. Catch. Oh, my God. Gather. Oh! Don't walk. We have four lives. Sur oh, jeez. Romance? No. Ditch? No. Catch a ride? Yeah. Survive? Oh my dude, it's going so fast. It's going too fast. Don't walk. We're back to five lives though. Take the stairs. Bitch. Take the stairs. Take damage. Don't hide. How am I supposed to disobey that? Romance. Disobey the delivery. Don't take the stairs. Dude, I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. This? Nope. Push that. Take damage. Coffee break. I'll tell you what, the man that made these games was pretty damn prolific uh, uh, during his time period. Uh, he has so many games in his portfolio, yeah. Okay, we want to survive. I did not. Catch a ride, no. Hide. Oh, jeez, we're running out of lives. Uh, oh, gosh. Gather. Nope. Romance, no. Sur I Run. No, oh, jeez. Take damage. Don't romance this. Don't walk. Some of them are a lot easier than others. Ditch. Yep. Survive. Oh my god, how do I hit so hard? Walk. We're getting our lives back. Catch a ride. I don't really think there's a point to getting a high score, but I'm not going to purposely throw on this one. I want to see how high I can go. Collect. Nope. Back to having max lives. Oh, rip. Run. Dude, those those ones go way too fast. Oh, rip. Survive. Oh, my gosh. Romance. Deliver. Survive. Oh, gosh. Walk. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, I say. Oh, my. It is going so fast. Survive. Don't hide. Don't ditch. How many have we won here? If you look at the progress bar, it tells you the speed multiplier. We're at 19.9. Don't want to deliver. I don't walk. Gather. Oh, geez. Survive. Gather. Oh, no. Okay. Oh my god, those ones go way too fast. Okay, don't deliver. Romance. Collect. Take damage. Take the stairs. Take damage. This. Don't want to deliver. So we're back to max lives. This. Dude, I'm telling you, we're gonna just win. This is, this is too easy. Too easy, push this. Survive. Oh, God. Survive. Push. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's getting hard to survive. Gather. Oh! Block. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay, we're back to four lives. Back to five lives. Gather. Catch a ride. Oh! Gather. Okay, we're doing good. We're on a streak now. We're back to five lives here. Okay, okay. I'm not. I, we've completed 225 levels. We just need to unlock reverse mode and rapid fire mode. I don't know how to unlock them though. But I think I'm gonna purposely lose here. I don't want to. I mean, I said I wasn't going to, but actually, let me. What are we at? 233. Yeah. I'm gonna just literally do random and see how long I survive. One life left. If I just go random. Game over. Okay. 
Because we're trying to unlock all three of the achievements. Here are your stats. 243 levels, 186% of them. Longest streak, 34. Okay, so now... Yeah, so we unlocked... So this was unlock reverse mode. So in order to unlock reverse mode, we need to do blind mode. And in order to do rapid fire mode, we need reverse mode. So in order to do blind mode, we need to score... Or in reverse mode, we need to get at least 30 in blind mode. In order to unlock blind mode, we need 40 or more in hide... Hide and, or, and ride mode. So play only box and cloud level. So all we need is a 40 level. All we need is to get to 40. Okay, catch a ride. It's so much slower than it used to be. Hide. Don't uh, catch a ride. We do want to hide. We don't want to catch a ride. So getting to 40 should be easy. Hide. Uh, don't catch a ride. Hide. Don't catch a ride. Hide. Don't catch a ride. Don't hide. Oh no, do catch a ride. This is both boring and entertaining. <laughs> To be fair, I probably didn't need to go as long as I did. Uh, catch a ride. So we're at 18 here. We're trying to get to 40. Catch a ride. Now we're at 20 levels completed. Don't hide. Catch a ride. Don't hide. Don't ride. Don't hide. Ride. Don't hide. Ride. Don't hide. Ride. Don't hide. Ride. We're at 32. Hide. Catch a ride. Don't hide. 35. Ride. Don't hide. Don't ride. Don't hide. Catch a ride. Okay, there's 40. So we did 40. So and at this point in time now, I'm gonna actively try to lose here. Okay. So we should have unlocked something here. Okay, so play blind mode. So what were the achievements? Unlock reverse mode. So we need 30 or higher in blind mode. Play intuitively, what can't you see? Oh no. We need 30 on this. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, this is hard. Collect. So I do want to collect. Take damage. I do want to take damage. Walk. No. So this is... <laughs> this is so fun, dude. I love these flash games. Deliver. We don't want to deliver. I don't know where it is, though. I'm hiding in a right corner. Nice. Gather. Okay. Catch a ride. What? Okay, we did it. It was just slow. Push this. That was on the right. Cool. Romance. Nope. Kill ourselves. Survive. Nope. Ditch. Easy. Block. Oh, no, no, no. Don't block. Take the stairs. So some of them are a lot easy. Run. You know, we just hold right. We have to get to level 40. So we're on wave 13. Don't hide. We have a blind coffee break. Good old blind coffee break. Push this. Disobey. That was on the left. Romance. Gather. This. So we're at uh, level 20. Halfway there. Run. I, th I might have played this as a kid. I don't... I know I said I didn't originally, but don't hide. Don't catch a ride. Don't romance. Don't run. Romance. Take the stairs. Block. Don't ditch. So we're at 30 of 40. Don't deliver. I'm hiding in the left corner. Let's go. Take damage. Oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't catch a ride. Survive. That one's probably one of the harder ones. Run. Nope. This. That is on the left. Gather. Nope. 
Run. Cool. Catch a ride. We're at 39. Collect. Gather. Okay, we've done it. 41. So I'm going to purposely die now. I wonder how fast before I just die. Because we passed that one. We won't pass this. We're not going to get anything here. The Flash game series that I liked was Robot Saves Blank series. I don't think I ever heard of that one. It's amazing how such a simple design can be so successful. I know, right? Oh, okay, there we go. We lost. So we have now unlocked reverse mode, which unlock reverse mode. So we just need to unlock rapid fire mode. So all we have to do is score 40 or higher in reverse mode to unlock this new mode. So reverse mode, disobey the obey and obey the disobey. So we need to do the exact opposite of what we're supposed to do. And we got to get to score 40. This is going to be a little bit hard. So survive, don't survive. Collect. Don't collect. Take damage. So don't take damage, which means do take damage. Walk. Don't walk. Walk. Oh, this is going to be hard. Deliver. Don't deliver, which means deliver. So if it flashes red, that means we listen. So if we don't flash red, we're not listening, right? So flash red, we're listening. Catch a ride. Push this. We red, which means we listen. Romance, red, listen. Survive. So we don't want to survive there. Ditch, which means don't ditch. Okay, okay, this isn't too bad. Block, don't block. Just take the stairs, flash red, yes. Run, which means we do want to do it here. This is crazy. Okay, hide. Nope, don't hide. He didn't flash red. Coffee break. So we're at uh, 15 out of 40. Uh, survive. Oh, I didn't do that one right. Hide. Oh, God, we're messing up here. Push this. Which means we actually push this. Romance. Nope. You didn't flash red. Gather. You flashed red. Catch a ride. Nope. Ditch. Nope. You didn't flash red. Gather. You flashed red. Catch a ride. Yep. Ditch. Nope. Run. Nope. Catch a ride. Oh, I, oh, yeah, I did that right. Take damage. Nope. And then walk. Well, we want to listen. Survive. We want to listen because it flashed red. So we're at 30 out of 40. Block. Yep. Push this. Yep. Catch a ride. Nope. Romance. Yep. Hide. Nope. Gather. Yep. Run. Oh, I should have ran. Should have ran. Push this. This. Survive. We don't want to survive. And there we go. We did it. Okay, so let's see how long we survive just by standing still here. And then I will have gotten all three of all of these games except the first one, which makes me want to go back to the first game uh, to try to actually 100% it, to be honest. The achievement unlocked. I feel like we should be able to, to do that, right? Because it could be cool. If you guys want to see more of the elephant collection, let me know. Because there's a lot more games, right? There seems to be multiple floors. So maybe we try to 100% each floor on each video or something, you know? So main menu. So now we unlocked rapid fire mode. Let's just try it once. Try to breathe. I'm just curious here. Survive. What, does it just like level up really fast? What's so hard about this one? Oh, it's just there's no... Okay. It just jumps right into it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of Flash games got some sort of, uh, you know, um, Steam version, which is really good because Flash is obviously dead. So we're going to go back to the elephant house. Let's go read fun facts of the day. So obey the game, the coffee cup, the coffee break segment in obey the game attempts to relieve the player of an endless onslaught of quick reflex mini games. I found while I was sort of playing, I was getting exhausted quickly and was wanting a break of some sort. I was originally considering a cutscene story element here. Think warrior way or something like elite beat agents, but eventually rested on a coffee break scene, which wouldn't require the player to be as emotionally invested in whatever the thing is. Coffee breaks felt very corporate and contrasting to the rest of the game. The balloon. I love balloons. So they end up in many in my game. Uh, uh, end up in many 
in my games, of my games. Balloon in a Wasteland is a survival story of a crashed hot air balloon pilot. Elephant Quest has the Balloon Bros as a series of characters and side quests for collecting balloons. And of course, you're collecting balloons and obey the game. Many of my games are bright and cheery and it always felt like balloons were the perfect accompaniment to all of the confetti and lasers unless you're crash landing in a hot air balloon escaping death that was a bit different. And the big arrow. The underlying design of Obey the Game is pairing Simon Says with WarioWare-esque microgames. In designing each microgame, I knew we'd have to go as simple as possible. One of the games is Walk, as players would have to both read the game instructions as quickly as possible and then also be able to decide whether or not to follow the instructions. To add to the franticness is the busy interfaces, bars, and other data points. These were purposely meant to be flashy and distracting. Many don't actually carry a function that helps the player whatsoever. That's sick. So um, let's go ahead and just try to actually 100% achievement unlocked. I know I should have. I didn't know there wasn't a, uh, a save. But let's try to do that here. And um, so I believe it gives you a lot of these. Um, uh, what's it called? Achievements just by playing solo. Okay, let's try to rapid fire. Uh, right. Obviously, there's some for dying and changing all of the colors of the spikes. So let's just jump around, do a lot of these different things. Right. We know we want to touch a lot of the, uh, the different... Um, things on the screen. So we're gonna see if we can actually 100% this game. And that would be a good way, right, 100%ing each of these. Um, so I know part of it's we want to touch every single tile. So we're already at 43% of the achievements. 46% of the achievements are ours. We're already at 52% of the achievements. So you get a lot of the achievements very quickly. I'm trying to paint all of the tiles here. Come on. Okay, we need to get that one. Nice. Need to get that one. I can't tell you guys how much nostalgia these games bring me. So 56% of the achievements completed here. Uh, there's one more thing I could touch down here. Or is, can I not? Oh, and then I know scrolling, that was an achievement. Muting the game was an achievement. Changing the quality, clicking, rest oh. The restart button in screen has nothing to do with the achievement. It is only here for speedrunning, so I don't want that. Uh, click the level area. Um, clicking armor games doesn't do anything. Um, so let's see, which ones have I completed and which ones haven't I completed? Keep the elevator, don't move a muscle, speedy downfall. I know some of them were the counting. Let me go do the counting ones actually. And I feel like one of them's like probably like supposed to be like dying. Okay, whatever. Let's press zero. Now we want to press one and then we want to press uh, two, and then we want to press three, and we want to press four, and then we want to press, oh, I need to find the five. Yeah, five's over here, right? Isn't it supposed to be over here somewhere? Recolor all the areas. I got that one. That's apparently the developer's favorite spot. How do I get the five slot? Uh, earn 70 achievements. Um, wish there was a way to look at the ones that I don't have. Yeah, how do I? Oh, there we go. Okay, okay. F visited secret point five. Okay, so now we need to press them in order. So zero. Oh, rip. Zero. One. And then we want two. And then three, four. And we want to press five. Nice. So we have 75% of the achievements, which is kind of where we were last time. So let's take a look at this. So what is speedy downfall? Is it? Hmm. I mean, I would think it would be like going down really fast. Um, there's also stalacite and stalagmite. One o'clock mortar fire cor corpse at point one. Maybe I, maybe we go, let our body just fall down. 
You tried counting in reverse order? Ooh, true. True, true, true. Okay, let's try that. So five, four, three, two. And then we want one and zero. One. Zero. That was one. Visit each point. Okay. Secure yourself at high speed. Oh, that was stalagmite. And then that's probably... Yeah, okay. There. Oh, okay. Nice. 50 elephant deaths was half century. Um, okay, what else we got? So we have 81% of the achievements here. Speedy downfall. Okay. Do I just... Like, fall all the way down, maybe? Mm. Okay, let's see. Let, let's look at some other ones here. Um, get off your seats. Get off your seats. Hmm. And then graveyard... That just, I need to have, probably just need to have a lot of dead bodies at once. That's what I would assume. I'm trying to just send dead bodies everywhere, too. Maybe there's one to, like, die to every spike? Though I think I've already done that. Oh, yeah, there's definitely, okay, so Century is definitely dying a hundred times. That's a hundred percent one, that, because... Half century was 50 elephant deaths. Just don't know what get off your seats is. Maybe we want to die and body fall on the... I don't know. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, because we're definitely going to get some for dying. Get off your seats, I don't know. Uh, what else could we look for? Vertical confusion and total confusion. One more being 101 deaths? I think so. That's my guess. Total confusion. Maybe like if you just... Oh, hold both the up and down keys. So then if I hold both left and right keys... Does that do something? Spacebar has no purpose. Oh, that was total confusion. Two plus... Two times 125 plus three. Is that the amount of deaths? There's also the meaning of life, which is pi. There's a hundred elephant deaths. There's a hundred and one elephant deaths. Um, 3.14. Oh, wait, do I have to go three, three point one four? Well, I don't know where the point is. Three, one, four is my only guess for the pie. Hey, that was pi. Oh, hit 314 in one order. Yep, there you go. So what is 2 times 125? That's uh, 250 plus 3. So it'd be 253. So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, 2. Oh, hit 4 and 2 in that order. Okay. 253. Okay, okay. This is Sparta. What is this is Sparta? That's like a kicking thing. 300. 300, that's what that is. So three, okay, see, we're learning. We're getting some of them here. We're getting some of them. Um, three. Can, I, I don't, I wonder if you can die. Nice, yeah, okay, you don't even have to be in the same life. So we have 89% of the achievements here. <sighs> okay, true blue. It's not changing the color, is it? Type creator? Do I type the literal word creator? C R E T C R E A T O R? Or U U U D U U D D L R L R B A control? Enter the contra level select. So we got an achievement. We got an achievement for nine. So we have 91% of the achievements. What is speedy downfall? I think it's for. There we go. Fall from the top to the bottom without stopping. 92%. Get off your seats. Get off your seats. Is that like dancing? Would it be dancing? Maybe?
Or maybe stay in the air for a long time or something? Oh, that could be it. What if I just stay in the air for a while? So then we have Graveyard. Which what I assume just having a lot of dead bodies at the same time. Um, true blue, shocking pink, sweet orange, stealth black. I don't know. I don't know how to change any of the colors. I don't know what the colors are referring to. Oh, okay, yep. Have seven live corpses on the screen was one of them. So we're at 93%. So we have get off your seats. True blue, shocking pink, sweet orange, stealth black, type creator. I don't know the color ones. Click? Does click do anything? True blue. I don't think the, I think the UI is for the collection here. So I don't think that would have to do with anything. And I, so, okay, the only ones we need. Huh. Okay, so yeah, if you guys have any ideas, those are the colors in the bottom right, but that's it. I know, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe doing this is an achievement? I don't know. Um. True blue, shocking pink, sweet orange, and stealth black. Like, can you change the color of the elephant? Can you change the color of elephant? Yeah, I know, that's exactly, that's what I'm trying to think. I don't know. And I also don't know the type creator. Where would I type that? Hmm. Wait. There's one more tile I haven't got there, but I don't think I can get that one. I don't know. We may have to look up some of these last ones, right? That's what we did in the past. Um, okay. So we got 93% complete. If anyone has any ideas before I look them up, uh, type stuff. I don't know any of the colors. True blue. Like I'm trying to type. Um, I'm trying to see if any of my body is anywhere. For get off your seat, you need to jump repeatedly rapid fire. Uh, like this or something? Trying that. Unless I'm, oh, there's, I'm supposed, there's like a way to do it faster or something. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want to just like cheat already, but. I truly have no clue how to do these. Um, cause also the color ones and type creator, dude. Like, where would I type that? Maybe it's faster in the bottom right corner. Oh. Hmm. Um, and yeah, the, the freaking colors. Cause yeah, I don't think there's anything I could do. Maybe like moving that around. Okay, okay, we're gonna we're gonna look it we're gonna look it up. We're gonna look it up. I'm all tabbing here. Uh, achievement 32. This is the only level. We're being a cheater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yeah, clicking the elephant doesn't do anything. Nor does mouse wheel. Actually, yeah, let me just press buttons, right? Though I don't want to like accidentally... Oh, 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 oh! Okay, so the numbers, the numbers change the elephant. Um, so now we just need type creator. Um, I don't know how to type creator. How do I type? So we at least got 97. Okay, whatever. So let me go look for get off your seats. Um, or the, oh, this isn't the only level. This is um, achievement unlocked or something. Is that what this is called? Yeah, achievement unlocked. 
So, okay, how to do 32. Get off your seat is jump for 10 seconds nonstop. Oh, so you just have to hold the jump button for 10 seconds. There we go. So that's that one. And then we have type creator. Oh, J M T B O two. Oh, there you go. That was a good one. So we only had to look up one. I mean, you guys helped me with some of them. You finished in 860 seconds. There was no real point to the game, but as you know, uh, that's sort of the point. Congrats bask in your newfound knowledge. Let's go. And so now I don't know what doing that does. Um, there was also the elephant rave here. Maybe we should try to do this here. Lose your memories, beat your first rave, 150% final rave. Because this was his first game, right? So maybe we should do this. I think this was the first one. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what... So we need to beat our first rave in 150 times the final rave. Okay. So this was the other game here. So we just need to not die. So I'm assuming we need to win and then we need to get, I don't know. She need to survive. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, I didn't, I, okay. Okay, let's try, we'll try a couple more times here. Maybe we just always try this every time. Okay. I'm gonna try to stay on the right side of the screen if things come from the left. Elephant rave, best rave. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. What? Life? Love? Misunderstanding. Funny new noises. You win. Congratulations. This game was weird. I apologize. Press spacebar to return home. Rave win streak times one? No, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me in order to get that achievement? 150 times final rave? What does that even mean? Try it one more time. What does that even mean? Hundred, you gotta win 150 times in a row? No way. That's gotta be like a meme achievement, right? That only like the crazy hardcore fans get. That one's insane. Beat, it's either beat, even if it was beat at 150 times, that's a lot. But 150 win streak, if that's what it actually is, is insane. No way that's what it is. No way that's what it was. No way that's a 150 win streak that you have to get. I refuse to believe that. 150 final rave. What if I just like stay? Wow. Rave win streak times two. There is no way. There is no way the game is expecting you to get 150 wins, whatever. Okay, whatever. Before we end it, let's go ahead and read the last lore. Um, so the first major publication to cover Elephant Rave was Joystick by an author named Justin McElroy. Justin would go on to become one of my favorite creative persons in the world, working on podcasts like My Brother, uh, My Brother and Me, and The Adventure Zone, and a beautiful saga of YouTube films called, Mo called Monster Factory. Justry's review of the game captured the essence perfectly. In report, he shared, well, the Joystick Free Game Club is proud to report that the game has finally been released that caters to often neglected set sect of the population. Crazy people, ladies and gentlemen, we give you Elephant Rave. There's no way you gotta get 150. Also, what was the final one for this? Our little elephant began his adventures in Elephant Rave in 2008. He was small only because the game window was so small. The game window was small because I was working on a 13 inch laptop and Flash's UI takes up nearly every inch of the space. The smallness of the elephant remained in every single game. Uh, the elephant never speaks. And in fact, the elephant collection is the first time we even get to see the elephant's thoughts beyond the one 
uh, really angry face he makes in Run Elephant Run. The elephant went through many visual revisions, especially when Jimp, massive monster, would come in for the act. Uh, act starting in Elephant Quest. So, man, so let's just see. There's two games here. This is the only level two and Achievement Unlock 2. Then you have This is the only level three and Elephant Quest. And then Achievement Unlock 3 and Run Elephant Run. And then apparently before you're allowed to save her, you have to capture, I uh, get 24 memories here. So man, this game is so nostalgic. Honestly, even if nobody watches this video for pure me nostalgia purposes, I think we're gonna keep playing the game until we, uh, you know, maybe 100% it besides the 150 uh, win streak on Elephant Rave. Um, but either way, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know a lot of you guys um, may not know at all what this is and this looks stupid, but it just really nostalgic for me because uh, obviously, I grew up on Flash games and to see them all wonderfully packaged um, in a collection that kind of remasters them uh, is just absolutely amazing. So let me know if you want to keep seeing more, whether you do or not, I'm probably going to force it because I, I want to play more of this game. It's so nostalgia um, for me. Uh, and if you're watching in the first 24 hours, um, you know, definitely uh, check out our Discord. Uh, the dev gave away um, some other future games. He also gave me some nice words when I asked for a key. I told him how much uh, his games meant to me and were just nostalgic to me as a kid. And he was, he was just real nice. He was like, so glad I could, you know, help your childhood or whatever. Because it really was. These games or one of my favorite Flash games ever. So it's so cool. I just, I was not expecting this to come out. I mean, I haven't played these games in 10 years and it's super, super cool. So stay tuned for more uh, of this game. I'm so excited. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like what the big boy YouTubers say, to be notified when more of the Elephant Collection videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are gonna be grinding out some of the Elephant Collection on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.